Hello everyone and welcome to new scratch tutorial. In this tutorial we will be learning how to make a confetti effect. If you don't know what you are making let me just show you. We are going to be making, we are going to be making this. So let's get started. Now make a new sprite call it as confetti and then zoom in and draw a red color square I prefer using red because we can use it to make different effects I'll just show you later make it as no outline and draw it just 2 by 2 pixels don't know what pixel is one pixel is the one black or white dot in here so make it 2 by 2 pixels now for this make a new custom block name it keep it create and then number input clones and make it run, run without screen refresh because it might just help reduce lag and to code this repeat clones create clone of myself and let us code the confetti now and just hide the sprite wait let me just hide this too ok ok so when I start as a clone we will show then we will change the x by a random number it is best to keep it minus 20 to 20 and do the same thing for y change y by again pick the same pick random minus 20 to 20 also we need to make two new variables for tag x call one at one as x1 keep it for this sprite only and another, another variable call it as y well and again keep it as for this sprite only so we'll set the x well to again pick random but this time not 20 to minus 20 we'll keep it a smaller number maybe you can keep it at minus 6 to 6 and do the same thing with y well also y well too but you can use a higher number but don't put negative numbers maybe i use i prefer to use minus i prefer to use 7 to 13 and then place it in here then you will repeat until go to operators drag in a lesser than so we will repeat until y position let me just zoom in y position is lesser than minus 175 that means until it goes to bottom of the screen we will be we will keep repeating the same thing so we need to repeat the same thing which is change x by drag in a change x by and also drag in a change y by and also drag in a turn turn block in the change x by drag, put in the x well and in change y put in the y and for this turn go to operators bring in addition operator and then x well plus y well and also to simulate a gravity effect we'll change the y well we'll change the y well by minus one and then we need to delete the clone or else it will it will get stuck here or this or the, the or scratch will lag because of too many clones now let us see if it works so when flag clicked we'll use a custom block create 100 don't keep this too much or scratch your lag 
blocks okay we already have this effect but now you can see that there is only one color so for this we will set the color effect to a random number maybe 0 to 100 and now let us see <coughs> And now as you can see there are there are many colors now i'll just let you know that you can change all these values to a different number to get different different effects like for example example if i change this y will if i change this to one instead of minus one and and change this to Repeat until y position is more than 175. So, like this, if we, if we keep it like this, we can see the, see the confetti going up. But I prefer the older one because it creates a gravity like effect. Okay, now we could add, we could try adding some sounds. I just have a sound in the backpack here. So, in this create clones block, I will start the sound. Now, as you can see. <laughs> We have thanks for watching that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i mean i mean i'll be completing the platformer tutorial series soon i'll be i'll come with part four soon so make sure to subscribe or an elephant is going to fall on your head don't risk it just subscribe thanks for watching Make sure to like the video and of course subscribe. Again thanks for watching and bye.